going to show you how to draw the female fashion croaky. Let us begin. Let's first clarify what is a croaky. A croaky is a template or a drawing of a fashion model who represents your target customer. You trace over this croaky to design clothing. Here's an example where I've drawn clothing on top of my croaky. This saves a lot of time because I don't have to keep on drawing the croaky or model over and over again to design new clothes. Let's look at two different examples of the croaky. On the left, this is a croaky of a dress form or mannequin for drawing flats or technical sketches. And on the right, this is a croaky of a model for drawing full figure illustrations. Here's my fashion croaky of a model, and here's examples of illustrations done with this as a croaky. These illustrations didn't take too much time as I already had my drawing of the model. Next, let's look at the croaky of the dress form or mannequin. And here are examples of fashion flats drawn on top of this form. In this course, we'll draw a simplified version of the full figure nine heads croaky. The proportions of your croaky really depend on the target demographic that you're designing for. Think about how the proportions of a croquis would vary depending on whether you're designing for the children's wear market, a junior's market, or a more contemporary customer, the designer market, or an active wear market. So to summarize, the proportions of the fashion croquis depend on the target customer, and there isn't one specific proportion that's correct. However, for this video course, I'm going to teach the proportion that I first learned in school, and that's the nine heads croquis, which is pretty typical in the industry, especially for the designer market. I want to emphasize that this proportion is not realistic. To illustrate that, I've created a graphic where I've taken my actual body and I photoshopped it to show you what it would look like in a nine's head proportion. I learned how to draw the nine heads croaky in fashion school, and that's what I'm gonna teach in this course, but feel free to evolve your croaky to be any shape and size. Ideally, your croaky will represent your target demographic, so you really wanna think about your customer and make their croaky relatable to them. So, nine heads, we use the head as a reference point, because we have to use something. Um, the reason that we don't just give this a measurement like nine inches tall is because we're not all gonna use the same paper size, right? So if you pick something on the body and use that to set up the rest of the proportions, then no matter what your media is or the size of your media, it will always have the same proportions. So we use this head as a me measurement, right? So if I were to trace this head and then keep repeating it nine times, what we would get is nine heads from the top of the head to the ankle bone. The reason we don't include the feet in this equation is because this measurement of the feet can vary depending on the shoe she's wearing. So for example, if she's wearing high heels, this measurement is going to be very different than if she was wearing flats. So nine heads from the top of the head to the bottom of the ankle. In this video, we will set up the guidelines in preparation for drawing the croquis. All you'll need is paper, and this can be any size, but I recommend regular printer paper, which is usually eight and a half by 11 inches. You'll also need a pencil with an eraser and a roller. To begin, let's draw nine heads at the side of the page that are roughly the same shape and size. You wanna make sure to leave space at the bottom of the page for the feet, because remember, these are not accounted for in the nine heads proportion. Once you've drawn your nine heads, you can go ahead and label them one through nine. Next, draw horizontal guidelines at the top and bottom of each head. 
Use a ruler to make sure your lines are parallel to each other. You don't want any slanted lines. Also, make sure the distance between the lines are the same. Add dashed lines at roughly one and a half heads and four and a quarter heads. So now we have all of our guidelines. Let's start to label them with the anatomy of the croaky. Right at one head, one and a half shoulder, two apex, three waist and elbows, four hip and wrists, four and a quarter crotch, five mid thigh, six knees, seven calf, and nine ankles. Now we're ready to draw the skeleton of the croaky. The first step is to draw a vertical line perpendicular to the horizontal guidelines. Make sure you have space on either side of the line to draw the croaky. The next step is to draw an oval for the head. You want to make sure this oval is the same shape and size as all the other ovals you drew setting up your guidelines. Then draw a horizontal line about two heads wide at the shoulders. We're going to repeat the same step at the hip because the shoulders and the hip are approximately the same width. You can drop a line down from the edge of each shoulder to find the measurement of the hip. Next, we're going to draw a horizontal line about one head wide at the waist. Now connect the shoulder, the waist, and the hip and repeat this step on the other side of the body. Draw guidelines for the arms starting at the shoulder and ending at the wrist, and then you can extend this line a bit more for the hand. And repeat this on the other side. Then for the legs, drop a vertical line down from the waist. Then draw a cylinder for the neck and connect the neck to the shoulders. Next, draw small ovals for the knees, keeping the size and shape consistent on each side of the body. Then draw ovals for the ankles, and these should be a little bit smaller than the ovals at the knees. In the last section, we drew the skeleton or the framework of the croaky, and in this section, we're going to add shape. The muscular structure is what gives shape to the croaky, so let's take a detailed look at that. It's not necessary to memorize every single muscle. The main goal is to see how the muscles generally add shape to the body. In the next slide, I'll simplify the muscular structure in a way that's easy to remember and draw. I'm drawing over these individual muscles to get a more simplified shape. And what I'm discovering is that all of these muscles can be broken into circles and ovals. To summarize, the muscular structure can be simplified into basic shapes like ovals. Let's move into drawing guidelines for the muscles. Step one, draw ovals for the arms. Step two, draw ovals for the legs. So starting with the thigh, we're gonna start from the hip and wrist level, connect an oval to the knee, and then draw another oval from the knee to the ankles for the lower leg. Repeat this step on the other side of the body. Step three, draw triangles for the feet. Step four, we're gonna add shape to the neck and outline the arm. 
Smooth out the curve from the neck to the shoulder and draw the outline of the outside and inside of the arm using the ovals as reference. For the hand, draw simple lines. Then repeat these steps on the other side of the body. Try to make each side of the body as symmetrical as possible. The next step is to outline the leg and the foot. So starting at the outside of the leg, we're gonna follow our guidelines coming in at the knee, coming out at the calf, and back in towards the ankle. At the inside of the leg, the knee is the landmark and the calf is where the leg gets a little bit wider and tapers in again at the ankle. Now your croquis will look something like this. Don't worry if it's super rough, we're gonna clean it up and add seam lines for drawing clothes in the next section. Now we're gonna create seam lines and these will be your guidelines when drawing clothes. Let's draw the neckline, bust line, armhole, underwear, and waistline. To draw the princess lines, let's first mark the center point down each half of the body at the shoulder, bust, waist, underwear, knee, ankle, and foot. Do this on each side of the body. And then once you have these points marked, you can connect them in one fluid line. And these will be your princess lines. Now we've created our first draft of the croquis. It looks a little rough, so we're going to clean it up by picking the best side of the body and tracing over it. You can lay a piece of paper on top of your rough draft and trace over the best side using crisp, clean lines. Make sure to include all the seam lines. Once complete, trace to the other side so you have mirror images and a symmetrical croquis. That's the end of this mini course. If you're ready to take your croquis to the next level and create more dynamic, creative poses, check out this free one week mini course called Anatomy of a Pose. In this course, I've condensed everything I've ever learned about figure construction into five simple rules, which I've outlined in a downloadable PDF guide. By signing up for this course, you'll also get five days of email tutorials in which you'll apply the rules of figure construction with step-by-step -step instruction. By the end of this course, you'll have drawn five new dynamic croaky poses. To sign up, click on the link below this video. You'll be directed to my webpage where you can enter your email address and click the button to subscribe. After subscribing, you'll receive an email from me asking to confirm your subscription. Sometimes it can take a couple of minutes for this email to arrive. You'll need to click this button to confirm your subscription before receiving day one email to download the PDF guide. Each following day will be a new tutorial in the series for about a week. I also made this croquis kit so you can start designing right away with hundreds of fashion templates. This kit includes nine head figures in dynamic poses from the front, three quarter, side, and back views. These figures also come in smaller thumbnail sizes, so you can quickly brainstorm design ideas. The kit also includes details like the head, hands, feet, and even hairstyles, shoes, handbags, and other accessories like sunglasses. There are a ton of bonuses, like a technical flat template in a sample size 6, an ebook on the walking pose tutorial, Another ebook on drawing the turn croquis, which includes a workbook with guidelines. The kit can be downloaded and used digitally on a tablet in apps like Procreate or printed and used in hand drawn sketches. Here's an example where I'm using the hands and feet template to help me construct a figure. All the templates in this kit are proportional and interchangeable, so you can play with creating new variations of poses. Here are examples of my work where I use templates from the croquis kit. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I use this kit a lot. It makes it easy to draw new designs without having to draw new templates from scratch. To learn more, click the link below this video. 
Thank you for taking this course. I really hope it helps you in your drawing practice. I'll leave links to follow me on social media so you never miss an update on future courses and tutorials.